Lord gave us these high holy things. It's just given straight from the Lord. So these are these are commandments to keep. It's very uh, particular. Very particular. About, about and if you go in the Passover with the, we're gonna get there in First Corinthians 11. Yeah, if you go in there with the wrong with the wrong spirit, you go. <laughs> you the Lord to kill you. He'll kill you, man. And we've seen that with our own eyes. Remember uh, this dead dude that's what I should be getting at. Yeah. The light skin. Uh, we knew him as uh, Yabana. But now he's gad, some type of priest, whoever, whoever his name is. Now he's talking about wearing glasses and putting wearing on all black. black and wearing, the Lord almost killed that nigga at, at the Passover one yeah. year, man. Yeah. Yeah. And he just dropped. He just dropped in his face. Lost color and his lips was blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right? I remember that. And we would we all turned to look because all we heard because it was silence in there, man. The brothers was reading, we were reading, I believe we were reading Exodus 12, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden he fell over, man. You know, just the Lord was about to take the spirit from that nigga. But the Lord spread, he didn't spare him. Because that nigga was God, he was American. Yeah. The Lord spared the church. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great Muslim that we will. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom. And a Baba Ball. You know, back at it with another lesson to the spirit of power of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Lord, will this video is edifying. And this is just something that I wanted to exhort to the flock. All right, things get spooky. Okay, around the time of the Passover, so to speak, man. Okay, and, um, you know, usually around the time of the Passover, the hearts of many are revealed. Okay, the Lord exposes people, man, for their true intentions, you know, the true spirit that they're coming in. You know, and this has happened, and this is only my, really my third year, okay, um, partaking of the Pesach, which is Passover in Hebrew. All right, and, um, you know, I can already observe that. From just me being, you know, my, my third year uh, uh, partaking of the Pesach, okay? So, you know, how much more brothers who are, who've been in this thing for for a while, you know? And, um, you know, don't be surprised if major judgments happen, okay? After uh, this year's Passover comes up, just like last year, 2020, you had, you know, the uh, C-19 breakout after the Passover, okay? And, um, you know, the night of the Passover was Yahweh Shai's, uh, when the, was the night that Yahweh Shai got, uh, arrested and betrayed by Judas Iscariot, okay? And, um, you know, the, the original night of the Passover, going all the way back to the time when we were in Egypt, okay, you had the death angel going out there, uh, slaying the firstborn in all the land, man, all right? So, it's, it's a, it's a weary, um, spirit. That comes around during the Passover, and a lot of times too, prior to the days leading up to the Passover, all right, and something as well that I peeped during the Day of Atonement too. Okay, you know, demons come down very, very heavy, man, and they try to get you to fall out. They try to get you to get weak, and you know, you're not being on as fire as you were in the spirit. Okay, and like it tells us in the Book of Luke, let's go ahead and get it real quick. This is uh, Luke 22, starting at um, um, I'll start at um, verse 14. And when the hour was come, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him. And he said unto them, With desire have I desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. You see, so Yahweh Shai, he who is suffering. On the night of the Passover, man. So it's not a time to just be joyous and, you know, joyful like Josiah's Passover, man. All right. And then the Lord took Josiah out, man. You see? Passover isn't a time for mirth. It's a solemn assembly. Solemn meaning serious. Something to not be taken lightly. And that's why the scriptures tell you to examine yourself before you partake of the Passover. Because if you ain't right. And you partake of the Passover, man, 
Hey, the Lord could kill you, man. The Lord can kill you, man. And as you saw from the prior clips that I that I played in the post production, okay, judgments went out for men who weren't right in the Pesach, and those are just two testimonies. You see, and and you know, brothers, um, I have a personal testimony of my own. All right, there used to be an individual who uh, was in the camp. All right, down here, okay, and you know, there was a there was a like um, you know, the Lord had to set it up in the spirit where. His heart got revealed that night, you know, and brothers, we, you know, at least I'll speak for myself. I was, you know, younger in the faith, so I lacked discernment, you know, it was, it was through kind of like the way he was acting, but, you know, being younger in the faith with a lack of discernment, you couldn't really, you know, well, at least me personally, I couldn't really peep what, 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 what it was, but you can obviously see that his vibration did change, you see, and, um, you know, there was a situation where basically, you know, the brothers, we rented out of Airbnb and, um, you know, the the lady, she made a big deal because we had, you know, like maybe two or three extra people, two, two extra people that was, um, you know, in the Airbnb, we didn't think it was going to be an issue, but basically she kicked us out. So, um, she was kicking out the two extra members or whatever. So basically, you know, brothers had to leave the location and, um, you know, there was a, we casted a vote to see who would stay behind. You see, and that individual who's no longer with us, okay, um, you know, he was left behind, so to speak. You know, he had to stay behind along with me and the other brother, uh, Quadash, in the camp. You know, and that individual, man, he was he was salty as hell that he had to stay behind, man. He was salty as hell that he, you know, that brothers chose him to stay and not to go home. You know, even though none of us were really supposed to leave. You see, but, you know, we are in Babylon, we are rehearsing the righteous acts, and, you know, the landlord was kicking us out, you know, so the scripture do say, agree with thine adversary quickly, so, you know, we had to execute wisdom, but the Lord has set up where none of us stayed that night, man, you see, because the uh, the head brother of the camp, all right, you know, he it was under his name, and since he wasn't there, um, you know, she kicked us all out, you see, so we all had to leave that night, but, you know, in the spirit, we couldn't understand but now looking back on hindsight, we know why, because that dude that was with us that night, he wasn't right, man. And the Lord revealed him. OK, so many hearts get revealed around the time of the Passover, man, just like Judas Iscariot's heart was was revealed during the time of the Passover, man. You see, what do you how should I say this night when you shall betray me? Let's go ahead and let's keep reading. Verse 16, it says, for I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of the most high. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of the Most High shall come. And he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave it unto them, saying, This is all. This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. You see, so when we're partaking in the Passover, we're doing it in remembrance of Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai got arrested on this night, man, leading up to his crucifixion. So it was a serious night. It wasn't time... To just be turning up, you know, being in mirth, you see? And that's why brothers recommend, you know, to go on a fast prior to you entering into the Passover, man. Because you want to make sure you're purging out all that leaven, you see? That leaven referring to that, that wickedness, man. Because you don't want that to hop on other brothers or within, or even within yourself, because like we, you know, like I'm uh, exhorting through the spirit, and many other brothers have done so as well. You know, you don't want to be partaking in the Passover unworthily. So if you ain't ready, you know, be honest with yourself and refrain, man, because the Lord can really judge you if you take part and you're not worthy, man. Okay. And that same dude who who I was referring to, guess what, man? Later down the line, he fell out the faith, man. He fell out the faith. You see? So, you know, hey, um, let me continue. Verse 20. Likewise, also the cup after the supper, saying, This is this cup is the new testament in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man goeth as it was determined, but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. You see? You see? So you don't want to come into this thing, you know, not having your mind right, man, okay, this isn't a light thing, you know, people, people think, oh, okay, I'm an Israelite, you know, and that's it, no, 
it's really deeper than that. And 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 I even have yet to learn more to learn myself, you know, only being in the faith for maybe about three years, you know. I have a lot to learn myself, you see, but this thing is deeper than just, you know, Kwam Yashara and Shalom. It's deeper than that, man. And it's deeper than just knowing Esau is the devil. It's deeper than all of that, man. Okay? We have to make our bodies a living sacrifice, man. Okay? It's not about what you want to do anymore. And it honestly never was. You see, but especially not now that you came into the faith. Does that mean that you kill you still can't go, you know, and, and quote unquote live your life? Nah. But it's just you live your life according to a different fashion now, man. You're not living your life according to the ways of the world. And if you're not okay with that, then guess what, man? Then go ahead, go back into the world. <laughs> but just know you're gonna receive that same judgment as the world. You see? But if you don't want to receive that judgment as the world, then guess what? You got to do what the Lord instructs us to do so you can be escaped from that judgment. But if that's too much, then hey, like Joshua said, choose you this day, you know, and whether you serve the gods who uh, uh, of the Amorites whose land ye dwell, <laughs> you know, or whether you serve the Most High Yahweh and the Son Yahweh Shai. But as for me and my house, Lord willing, we will serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You see? Anyways, let me go ahead and get this, and I'll probably close out with that. All right, which the, really the apostle, he he already read it, you know, but um, I'll read it again. It's 1 Corinthians 11 and verse um, 23. For I have received of the Lord that which also delivered unto, that which I also delivered, also I and delivered unto you, that the Lord Yahweh shy the same night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he break it. And said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Okay? So we're supposed to be doing this in remembrance of Yahweh Shah. After the same manner also he took the cup. And when he had supped, saying, this is the cup of, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do shew the Lord's death till he come. And what's a part of shewing the Lord's death, man? Giving up the ways of this world. Okay? Just like how Yahweh Shai had to give up the pleasures of life, so to speak. Same way how we had to give up the pleasures of this life. Because, there ain't, man, there ain't nothing for us here anyways, man. And it's going to be more evident as these days goes by. Because Jake thinks just because the society is established, you know, that it's going to be this way forever. But it's not. It's not, okay? Because Yahweh Bashem El Shai is making this place crumble, man. You see the gas prices going up damn near every day. And I'm not even trying to exaggerate right now, man. Okay, literally, you know, uh, there was a gas station right by my house, all right? And the gas was 285, you see? Which 285 is, is, is really high because this year alone, 2021, gas was still, for regular, at least down here on this side of Babylon, gas was still in the dollars, in a, in a, in a, in a high one dollar, you know, maybe eighty-seven cents. One dollar seventy-nine, if you're lucky. You know, one ninety-nine. But now the shit is damn near a, a whole dollar more. Within a couple months, it jumped up that high, man. Going to show you that this dollar is crumbling, Jake. But yeah, you still want to go back into the world? Okay, that's fine. Go ahead, but just know you're gonna have to deal with that judgment. All right. It's and and matter of fact, to finish off the testimony. All right, the the gas was two eighty five by my crib, and I went somewhere, you know, up the road, okay, to go see somebody. All right, and the gas over there, same uh, brand of the gas, like the same company of gas, if you will, was two eighty six. And then, you know, person might say, okay, that's no big deal, one cent, right? But that same night that I came back to, to my house, passing that gas station, that gas station was two eighty six. <laughs> but earlier in the day when I left, it was two eighty five, man. And I know I didn't read it wrong because I make sure to pay attention to the gas signs, you know, because I had a delivery job. So I'd be watching the gas prices and stuff. But nonetheless, man, you get the point. You see? So the Lord is making the society crumble, yet Jake still wants to go trust in oppression. But Esau's not going to be able to save you in that day, man. But anyways, let me go ahead and finish off on this. 1 Corinthians 11. And, um... Verse 27, wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, 
shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord and blood of the Lord. Okay. Yeah. And the scriptures talk about if you step on the blood of Yahweh Shai, okay, you're going to receive a, 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 um, a worse judgment than two or three witnesses under Moses' law, so to speak, man. You know, you're going to receive a more sore punishment, so to speak, man. Okay. And, and to get into a car crash and skid your face on the road to where your skin slides off your face, that's grievous, man. That's grievous, okay? When I heard the apostle say that, it made my stomach it made my stomach sick, man. Going to show you this isn't a joke, man. And everybody thinks that Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is sweet. You niggas gonna find out that Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is not sweet, man. Okay. So keep playing games if you want to. All right, but just know you gonna pay for that, man. Scriptures say that the Lord is coming back to give every man according to his works, man. So you want to sow to the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. You sow to the spirit, you're going to reap life everlasting. It's that simple. All right. Verse 29. It says, it says, actually I'll read 28 again. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. You see? So that's the point right there, man. So Laura will, this video was edifying. I just wanted to exhort through the spirit. Okay, if you ain't ready to keep the Passover, don't keep it, man. Straight like that. Okay. If you ain't trying to get right, if you ain't just if you sincerely are not trying to get right, don't keep the Passover, man. Because you're really just doing it to, to bring damnation upon yourself, man. Alright, so with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Chakradash, double honors. To the elders and apostles of the great Muslim, of well, peace and blessing to the elect of Israel. Shalom and above all.